Welcome back everyone to part 2 of Kraken's Better Dinos, the Small Dinos Edition. If you haven't seen part 1, the Shoulder Pet Edition, go ahead and check out the link below. But let's not dally too much on pleasantries and move right along. There's a lot to cover in this session. And like before, I'll have timestamps of each of the creatures in the description below as well. So let's get started. The Aranio. This creature in its vanilla form is one of the most useless things in the game. But thanks to Kraken's Better Dinos, it's easily become one of my new personal favorites, as it now actually has many uses, making your dreams of bringing forth a nightmare of hellish spiders down upon your enemies that much closer to reality. Without spending stamina, this arachnid has an amazing wall climbing ability when entering a particular mode by pressing right click. This far exceeds the Megalania as it's much faster and you can carry more. And you now have the ability to jump, making it one of the most, if not the most, mobile creatures in the game. So you've known about Araneo's ability to slow targets by pressing C. Now, if you press and hold C for three or more seconds, that web sling turns into a bola that can immobilize creatures completely for up to 20 seconds. If your dino or teammate is immobilized by a web bola, you can either watch in horror as they struggle in the webs, as the epitome of a nightmare slowly skitters towards them to feast on their juicy insides, or you can free them by holding either a sword or sickle and holding E on them. And what's more, Araneo have now been provided genders, and can therefore be bred to create even more eight-legged terrors. And lastly, meat spoils significantly faster in their inventory, making them a good source of spoiled meat, as well as killing these guys will nut you with silk as an added resource. The Bezel Bufo These amphibians have been given more versatility by being able to attack while in a falling state. They've had their swimming speed increased and can now leap out of the water similarly to the mantas. You'll also notice a reduction of fall damage and increased damage towards the trilobites and eurypterids. The biggest boost to Bezelbufos, however, is their ability to harvest precious cementing paste from more than just the meganuras. Now they can harvest it from scorpions, spiders, trilobites, and eurypterids. The Dimetrodon this walking AC unit has been given an improved turning radius, as well as a brand new ability called Overheat. Overheat will increase the Dimetrodon's hypothermic insulation by 5 times the amount, while reducing the hyperthermic insulation to 0.2. Another benefit to Overheat, however, is that it will boost almost all swamp creatures' speed, damage resistance, melee damage, and stamina usage. Take care, however, this ability will also slowly eat away at the Dimetrodon's health until it reaches 50% and will put a strain on their food. The Dung Beetle Originally intended to be in my previous video, the Dung Beetle has had some very useful changes done to it, making it even more valuable to all would-be farmers out there. Dung Beetles now have the ability to automatically collect nearby dropped feces while on wander and will redistribute them to nearby crop plots, making manually fertilizing your crops a thing of the past. A little tip as well, using a new item in this mod called the Orb of Staying, which I'll cover more thoroughly in the utilities video, you can bypass the cage and keep your little pooper scooper in place much easier. The Hyenodon this doggo has been completely remapped as a dino that will now spawn in random sizes. If you're lucky enough to find one that's size 1.3, you can even ride them now. Also, when it comes to pack obedience, petting, sitting, or standing, the alpha will cause the entire pack to do the same. This can make boosting your doggos for battle much quicker. The Caprosuchus Gone are the days where the player relationship with the Capro is so one-sided. Now you can pick up and bolo these water puppies again. Lamantria. These guys will now passively create silk in their inventory and will defecate Lamantria spores that can be used like owl pellets and can be gathered by the new dung beetles. Their abilities have been remapped a little as well, 
Left click is now an attack which can gather berries while your gas bomb has been moved to right click. Their mobility has also been altered with the ability to strafe left and right and walk backwards. Megalania Megalania can now run faster while tamed and will no longer consume stamina while climbing. Their claw attack has been added to the C key. Wild Megalania will now only target herbivores and corpses, rather than attacking everything under the sun. Mega Rabies has been removed from all of their attacks, and their bite has now been given altered effects. As long as you see the Rabid Particle Effect indicator, their bite will continue to prolong those effects by another 20 seconds, so be sure to dispatch these guys quickly if you're in a tussle. The Alvaraptor these little egg addicts now no longer require wandering in order to encourage a little leaven from nearby creatures. They can now also reach creatures at a much larger radius than before as well. And if you're not in the mood for baby having dinos, or just can't sleep at night from all the noise, you can always toggle the Alvaraptor's mojo off. Ever wonder where they keep their stolen eggs? Well, wonder no more, as now they will spawn a cute little nest right at their feet where they'll store the eggs from your creatures, which will also double as an incubator. Keep in mind, however, that should you cryopod your alvaraptor or move it away from the nest by more than a foundation, the nest will be destroyed within seconds, leaving the eggs exposed to the elements. The Ovis Cute little poofy floofs can now generate milk for better dino recipes, and are now given the freedom to harvest bushes. Pachycephalosaurus Useful early game dinos, these guys are great for defense, berry gathering, and even taming. They've got a charge attack similar to the trike, which stuns targets for a few seconds and generates torpor. And although they aren't too great at gathering stone, flint, or metal, these guys rock at gathering crystal, obsidian, and element dust for early game. Pelagornis. Worried your new captured fish baskets will spoil before you get them home? Well now Pelagornis has been given the ability to increase the spoil timer by six times the amount it was before. The Fiomia. These little piggies have had a few alterations done to them. With Kraken's Butter Dinos, they can now gather berries, rock carrots, salva root, mushrooms, and flowers, and will not collect seeds. They've also had their breed timers adjusted to be able to produce offspring more often. Slaughtering Fiomia generates a new resource called Raw High Protein Meat, which can be used as a faster alternative to healing your carnivores than normal meat. It's also a key ingredient for cooked high protein meat and faux beacon, which I'll cover more thoroughly in the utilities video. And your female piggies can also be milked every 45 minutes. Pulmonoscorpius like the Araneo, scorpions are now breedable. They've also been given a right-click ability to pick up very small creatures for transportation and stinging. The scorpion also has a passive generation of scorpion venom in its inventory. This can be used in place of narcotics and is an ingredient for Cthulhu's blood. You can also walk on steeper angled terrain than before as well, so you're less likely to get caught up on rocks. Perlovia Ah, the ground demons. These little hell spawn, which totally didn't get me killed during a tech cave run, have been given some TLC from this mod as well. A saddle has been made which makes these little guys able to be ridden, and they're now immune to the bee sting debuff, Dilo spit, and UD roars. You can also pick these guys up with the RGs if you wish to move them for a new location for taming or slaughtering. And attacking with them no longer stops their movement. The Stigmalock. A KBD special dino, these guys are very similar to the Packies with their own little charge and stun torpor damage headbutt attack. Titanoboa. Danger noodles now come in a variety of sizes, can be bred, and have had that dumb frill removed from their head for a more natural appearance. You could also enable a turret mode on these guys as spitting turrets, though I wouldn't rely too heavily on this. Tamed Titanoboas can now be harvested every hour for two Titanoboa venom. Just be cautious as this will hurt you a little bit. The Trilobite. 
Last but not least, we've got these little guys. Like a few others covered today, they come in a variety of sizes and are seven times more susceptible to attacks by frogs. A neat little feature is the ability to tame trilobites now, using the new fish basket. Tamed trilobites can be picked up by players and will passively generate silica pearls and oil in their inventory. And that covers it for the small dinos edition. That was a lot to cover and I feel as though I may have missed a few details, but I certainly hoped you enjoyed this marvel of a mod. Keep an eye out for future videos I'll be covering for this mod which will include medium, large, aquatic, and utility features of Kraken's better dinos. If you enjoyed this video and would like to motivate me to continue, a simple thumbs up goes a long way and you can always subscribe for more content. But either way, I want to say thank you for joining me and I do hope you have an awesome day.